Up until a few years ago, automotive news was flooding in with new manufacturers announcing new advances in the field of autonomous driving. One could almost get the impression that from 2025, all new cars would drive to the desired destination at the touch of a button, while the occupants read the newspaper and drink coffee whilst lazing around in their lounge chairs. Now the year is 2022, and Level 3 driving has been permitted in Germany since May of last year. Autonomous driving refers to the ability of an automobile, by means of sensor and camera supported systems, to drive along a previously selected route automatically, that is without further human input. Of course, this also requires short-term reactions to the traffic situation, other road users, or any obstacles that might suddenly appear. In other words, the car needs a certain degree of artificial intelligence to be able to assess situations as dangerous or harmless within milliseconds and react if necessary. This already brings us to the first problem. The computing power required to cover all eventualities of road traffic is enormous. 20 years ago, it would have been impossible to fit such computers in a car. The space for passengers, luggage and the drivetrain would have shrunk too much. In the meantime, the technology has advanced considerably and is smaller. But good hardware alone is not enough. In the background, there is complex software that has to be programmed by humans. But this also means that the engineers have to be aware of all eventualities that may arise. Numerous accidents in the US, where brands such as Tesla are already on the market with semi-autonomous cars, prove that this does not work comprehensively. Time and again, situations occur in which the computer does not have a solution. The USA has different legislation than Germany. This also varies from state to state. While Arizona has already approved fully autonomous cars without human intervention, which are being tested in a quiet suburb of Phoenix, California only allows the use of normal cars with steering wheels and pedals. The aim is to enable the driver to exert influence at any time and diffuse situations. However, many Americans rely heavily on the automated systems. Most recently, headlines were made by a Tesla owner who was able to outsmart autopilot on his Model 3 to the point where he simply rode in the back seat. Despite multiple police checks and heavy fines, he could not be persuaded to accept that this type of autonomous mobility is not actually intended in his car yet, let alone permitted. In Germany, a law on automated driving passed by the Bundestag has been in force since March 30, 2017. It states that, quote, the vehicle driver in an appropriately equipped vehicle may turn away from the traffic situation and the vehicle control system while driving by means of highly or fully automated driving functions. In doing so, he or she must remain perceptive in such a way that he or she can fulfill his or her duty at any time. This means that our legislation largely corresponds to that of the US state of California. In Germany, however, black boxes are mandatory in such vehicles. All movements and driver inputs are stored for six months. After accidents, these are evaluated. Since the law came into force, there have been protests from data protectionists against this data retention. In addition, it has not been clarified who is liable in the event of an accident. While the owners of such vehicles are happy to rely on the installed technology, the manufacturers are also not interested in being held responsible for incorrect decisions made by artificial intelligence. This problem has already been addressed twice at the German Traffic Court Conference. It dealt with so-called dilemma situations, in which the artificial intelligence has to decide between the health of its own occupants and that of uninvolved third parties. There is no solution in sight, especially since there probably cannot be a universally valid solution. 
Every country and every region has a different understanding of values and ethics, as well as different legal opinions. How is a globally offered product like an autonomously driving car supposed to make the right decision here? Autonomous driving is divided into six levels. Level zero, driving without any automation. The driver is responsible for all driving dynamics. Level one, assisted driving. The driver receives automated support in certain areas, for example, through a distance control system. Level two, partially automated assisted mode. Driver assistance systems such as lane departure warning, parking assistance or traffic jam assistant help the driver in certain driving situations. All remaining aspects remain the responsibility of the driver. Level three, automated mode. The driver no longer has to permanently monitor the systems. Maneuvers such as lane changes are implemented by the assistants, including correct setting of turn signals, accelerating and steering commands. Level four, highly automated autonomous mode. The vehicle is predominantly moved and operated by the assistants. Only in an absolute emergency can the driver intervene after acoustic optical warnings, but he does not have to. Level five, fully automated autonomous mode. All driving tasks are taken over by artificial intelligence. There is no intervention for the occupants by means of pedals or steering wheel. The Mercedes S-Class has been driving at level three since the end of 2021. Audi's luxury models are not scheduled to switch to level three until later this year. At BMW, level three should be available with the new seven series at the end of 2022. So, it will be several years before the chauffeur is completely replaced by artificial intelligence.